Have you ever looked at a job posting and thought, do I really need that skill for that career? Well, today we're talking about a skill you might be surprised to see is required for IT jobs, writing jobs, jobs in engineering, and more. Hey, it's Lauren from Road Trip Nation, and I'm gonna show you how collaboration shows up in all sorts of careers, even ones you might not expect. And we'll talk about why it's such an important skill to have in any job. Collaboration starts with bringing your strengths to the table as your own unique piece of the puzzle. But more importantly, it's about recognizing and amplifying the pieces of people around you. It's about working as a team, encouraging other people's ideas, and providing constructive feedback when you've hit a hurdle. But can good teamwork really help you stand out in the workplace? Shouldn't you be trying your hardest to amplify your good idea? Let's hear why that's a common misconception. How are you able to find your place, you know, whether it's career-wise, whether it's in a team, you know, in your life? Yeah, how, yeah. How are you able to find your place? I'm so happy you brought that up because a lot of people come into, especially a lot of young people, come into jobs and just think, I have to compete with all these other people. So I have to keep looking at these other people as my competition. Um, and I think in reality, all it does is create drama. It just creates like, oh, well, she said this, and well, he said this, and like, I can't believe he like did that report, and I can't believe she like said those things about like this project that we were working on, because I had a totally different perspective. When you're interviewing for jobs, businesses want to know that you are there to make the mission happen. And the thing that's taken me the furthest has been collaboration, not competition. When you're resourceful and you can figure out like what kind of pieces of resources you have, and you really utilize those, um, as part of a collaborative mindset. It, it takes you everywhere, everywhere. It's amazing. You may be thinking, okay, but I wanna find a career that lets me work independently. There are plenty of careers out there that don't require you to be an extrovert. But as we heard from cybersecurity expert, Charles Henderson, even careers that seem solitary still require a surprising amount of collaboration. So one of the big myths about security testing is that it's a sort of a one-to-one -one relationship. Um, it's important to remember that it's, it's really sort of a team dynamic. And you think about the collaboration that exists in security testing. X-Force Red is a huge team and we're constantly collaborating and working together. It's not just one person behind a computer. There's not one tester that knows how to test everything. We're constantly calling on each other, looking for skills within the organization. And we have different people that focus on different things. Speaking of team dynamics, every team needs a leader. So growing your leadership skills is an important piece of becoming a great collaborator. How do you become a leader? Well, you have to take initiative and push yourself out of your comfort zone. You can volunteer to lead the group project at school or work, or you can volunteer to become a captain of your sports team. Just keep stepping up, and before you know it, you'll be a natural leader, which can really pay off in your future career. Being a leader on the field in soccer, I've always, you know, I've always prided myself in being a captain or being some kind of leader, like among the team. Um, and that really actually plays a big part in how I interact with my teammates here at Northrop Grumman. I'm part of the contamination control group. And actually it takes a lot of coordination to get a team that big to be efficient. And actually me being a captain in soccer translates a lot into me trying to be, or at least being a leader for the team. You know, I'm really good at coordinating. I think um, pretty good at not letting you know problems become bigger problems. That translates a lot, especially from sports. Finally, mastering collaboration means seeking out and resolving any conflicts that arise among your peers. When different people collaborate, there are always going to be disagreements, but it can help to get ahead of these issues and build trust by promoting healthy feedback and accountability. When I first got sworn in, I visited with all 25 of our firehouses, all three shifts, all of our firefighters, and I wanted to do that to establish a rapport and a level of expectations. So I conveyed what my expectations were of our members, but in every single meeting I finished with, so you heard what my expectations are of you, what are your expectations of me as a chief? Not only do I hold them accountable as a chief of the department, but as firefighters, I also expect them to hold me accountable and having those open lines of communication and that level of two-way accountability is critically important. When you can encourage and celebrate your peers, step up as a leader when needed, and guide your team through challenges to reach a common goal, you'll be the kind of collaborator that every employer will want to have on their team. Nice job.
If you want to learn about some really cool career options where you can put your collaboration skills to work, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel.